You ever feel like you're stuck in a rut with your music, like you're getting nowhere? And what's even the point of all this? Maybe you've seen a recent show and somebody plays better than you, maybe at a level you think you can never achieve, or they're at a level that you feel like you're good enough, but you're not getting the recognition they are. Well, here's the thing. We've all been there. And this is a true chance for to use that frustration and that self-doubt as an opportunity to push yourself beyond your current boundaries and your current limits. This can be the key to staying motivated and learning to grow. Let's have a think on that. Hello and welcome to the podcast, where we are here to strengthen music careers and communities one song at a time. And now here's your host, Jacob Wing. Yay! Hey everybody, welcome to today's episode. Today we're just going to break down some easy ways for you to get motivated, to get going, to push yourself, to use setbacks and self-doubt and all those things that tend to hold us back and turn it around and use that as motivation and inspiration. Really first, just want to take a chance to say thank you everybody for being here. Thank you guys for liking, subscribing, all the things you've done. If you're new here, please take a chance, subscribe. Follow us, we've got lots of great videos. We've got lots of great videos coming out in the future. Really appreciate that. Let's get right into the video though. Today we wanna to talk about that dreaded moment when you hit that plateau and we all do it. And it happens to every one of us as a musician, either professional, amateur, just beginning, done it for 50 years, it doesn't matter. You hit this level at some point, either yearly, bi-yearly, biannual, every couple months, it's different for everybody. You hit this plateau of you just, you're not going anywhere, you don't feel like you're growing, you're not really getting worse, but you just don't see a way forward. You aren't getting the numbers you wanna see, you aren't getting the shows that you wanna play. Things aren't happening in the way that you really think they should be happening. It really does happen to every one of us. But the trick to all of this, the trick to making a career out of this and to really pushing yourself forward is just to keep going one foot in front of the other, especially in these times that we're talking about now. The key to everything is just to keep doing what you've been doing. You've set your goals. You know where you want to be. You have aspirations of, of how far you want to get. But every day that it feels like you're not getting somewhere or you're not getting things done or you're not feeling that, those are the days to push harder. Those are the days to take the steps, no matter what it takes, to get up, do the practice, to do the the things and get the recordings done to reach out to other people to go play the show that you didn't think was going to be a big deal and nobody was going to show up. Those are the steps you take to move forward no matter what, especially in those times. We're also going to talk about using that, but also some tips for inspiration going forward, how some things you can do. We'll give you some great, great ideas that you can access for that. But really want to talk about every time that you just hit that wall and you really don't think you can go any further or you don't know where the next idea is going to come for or the other side of that coin. Like we said in the intro, sometimes you'll see somebody playing or watch a band or you'll watch another uh, person that plays your instruments or, or sings in the genre that you do. And they're just doing things that absolutely blow your mind. And you feel like I, I can't do this anymore. I don't want to do, I can never do that. I'll never be that good you know, those demotivating things. These are the time to reach into this bag that we're going to give you with these ideas, these concepts, and just keep going forward. Use this inspiration to get better, to grow your knowledge, to grow your expertise, to get your skills up to a better level, and, and just get going forward. Momentum is everything. There's a reason that we bought into the idea of musicians momentum as a, as a title, as a, a name for a channel, as a what we're really investing our time into because momentum is everything. So I'm going to give you a list here of five things you can do, five quick tips that'll help you that you can use to go out, find some inspiration and, and just keep going forward. But the main thing I really want you to think about before we get into this is just the idea of Growth does not come from staying comfortable. If you feel like you're just doing the same thing over and over, but you're getting the same results, but you you also feel like you're not getting to where you need to be, you're not getting the recognition you deserve, you're not seeing the numbers and streams and plays and album sales, merch sales, or getting the shows, 
doing the same thing over and over and not getting out of your comfort zone, if you're doing this it just day in and day out, repeating the exact same things and expecting something different, that's completely asinine and you cannot do that. You have to find ways to make yourself uncomfortable, to make yourself a push into a new direction, into a new situation. And that's what's going to, you know, being afraid, getting those butterflies. We've said it before. That's what shows you that you're a little bit out of your comfortable comfort, comfort zone and you're into something new. And that can be a great thing. With that in mind, if it comes to the point where you, you're doing new things and you're trying new things and the inspiration still isn't finding you, you know, it's not coming to you. You're not getting the, the songs you want written. You're not doing, you know enough to break through the barriers this happens in whatever instrument you may be playing and you're playing the same scales and over and over but it's just you're not feeling nothing new here's a list of five things that you can do to go find the inspiration instead of waiting for it to come to you the first one is to attend live shows and that's a fantastic one just going out to watch whatever Whatever you're doing, it be it if you're a classical musician, go out and watch a couple of classical shows, go to some performances, uh, just go watch other people do what you do and see how they do it, see what level they're attaining, get that inspiration from how they're achieving what they're achieving. Uh, maybe you're a country artist, go out and go to a country show, go to a festival, watch how they're putting their bill together. What kind of performances are they putting on? You know, what kind of what's the crowd really into? What's the crowd not responding to? What's getting your blood boiling? Like, oh, I really, really love this. This is, I just, I just want to dance. I can't stop moving my leg. Like, I want to write a song like this. Those kind of things you get from going to a live show, like no other, being there in person. When you feel the goosebumps on your arms start to crawl, and that's amazing. That voice is just blowing up and and infecting my soul. How can I do that? What levels do I need to do? You know, instead of looking the wrong way and saying I'll never be that good, I can't do this. How do I get there? I love that feeling. How did they get there? Reach out to them. Reach out to the people around them. Reach out to people that are just like them. Find a way, attend the show, learn and grow from that. Find that inspiration. Second one is if you're in that rut, if you can't get that inspiration, figure out what what you need to break through to that next level for you. Jam with some new musicians, and I don't care what you do. I don't care what genre you're in. I don't care. Again, I'm going to reference a classical musician. If you're a classical musician, classical, we'll say a classical violinist, go play with a new people. Get an ensemble together. Get a four, a four piece quartet together, and jam with new people. Play with new people. See what inspires them. What are they doing? What level they're at? How are they moved on from there? You know, when they hit that wall, what did they do? Ask them. They'll show you, I promise you, musicians are a great bunch of people. If you're one-to-one and you get to talk to them, usually the good ones will show you how to get where you're going, you know, teach you what they did to get where they are. But whoever you are, whatever you're doing, find a way to play with new people. And especially if they're better than you, whatever, whatever that may be, it's all very, you know, relative as to who's better than who. But if you feel like they're they're just playing circles around you, just take from what they're doing. Why does it feel like that? Are they playing different scales than you? Are they faster than you? Are they hearing better notes than you are? Are they conveying emotions better than you are? Figure out what that is and start to add that into your own repertoire. Put that in your own tool set. Number three, and I absolutely love this one. If you're just not finding anything any way forward and you don't know what you want to do next or you just don't have that motivation of why should I even do this, Go watch some music documentaries. Those are fantastic. Whatever genre you're in, again, there's going to be documentaries that you can just pull up, watch them do what they do, how they got where they are, the struggles they went through. You know, what was their big break? How did they put themselves in the place and, and to get that opportunity to get that big break? Watching documentaries is a great way. It's basically a how to. I mean, it doesn't obviously. A lot of it is getting lucky and yeah, you can say it's winning the lotto, but still they put the work in, they did the time and they, they put themselves in the right opportunity almost, you know, 95% of the time to get to that next level. So figure out how they did it, how you can do some of the things they do, how you can steal from what they did and apply that to your career, your life and what you're doing. Um, number four out of the five tips we're going to talk about here is travel. And that's just the same thing. You can say live shows, uh, those are great, but maybe 
go see a different part of the world. Go see a different culture. Go see how they approach things, how they find happiness, how they deal with sadness, loss, with, you know, engagement and the joining of two couples to form a new family. Every culture does it different, but the end result is smiles, happiness, or loss. It's it's how they deal with grief. It's how they share the the different emotions in their culture, the food, the everything. Go find a different point of view by going to a different part of the world. And it doesn't have to be far. Yeah, I know we're most like a lot of us are on a budget. You know, go out of state. Go, you know, go 100 miles. Go 150 kilometers east or west, just something different to give you a different view to look at, to spark a different idea and, and move forward. That's a great way to get that inspiration going. A lot of times you'll hear these these musicians that are on the road and they're always writing while they're going between different shows and stopping and eating at mom and pop shops and seeing different people and getting different experiences because they're out and on the road. And so that's only adding fuel and and building up their whole catalog of music because they're getting all this inspiration. Try it for yourself. Last one we're going to throw out there, if you just need to go get some some inspiration to get going, is to write without limits. And it seems kind of silly to say, but we all do this to ourselves. We all put limits on how we're going to write the songs we write, what level they have to be at before you'll start working on, you know, maybe you like the music part to be to a certain level before you start working on your vocal parts or the lyrics or the harmonies or the structure, whatever it is, scrap it all and just start playing music and singing along, you know, just write without any limits. It's going to sound like crap. You're going to have some bad ones, but I guarantee you, if you're just going to let go and just do it, you're going to get a little kernel of, of goodness here. You're going to pick out a little riff or a, a part that's just, I can grow this. I can, cultivate this into an entire song. I can work everything around this because I found it. And just because you let go and tried things in a different manner and got rid of all those restrictions you put on yourself, I guarantee it's a great way to just push the inspiration through and try something new. So those are five great tips for just going out and finding the inspiration instead of waiting. The last thing I want to leave you with on this is Whatever you're doing, especially when it comes to this, if you're, you're having problems moving forward in your career and you feel like you're stuck and you need something to push you forward, start finding people who challenge you, who want to see more out of you, know you're capable of more and push themselves. And they're easy to find because they're doing the same thing to themselves. You could see them every day pushing themselves harder, trying different things, trying things they've never done that seems silly and they might fail at it, but the next day they're out trying a different thing. Those are the people to start surrounding yourself out with, with, you know, people that push themselves and they'll push you. That's the way, you, if you really, really want to find a next level and get to somewhere else, surround yourself with those kind of people. So just some great insights on how to find inspiration. If you have any other ones that you use or you can think of, please share them in the comments and we'll share them with everybody else. We love this, the community where everybody will help each other out and help each other grow is what this is all about. So again, if this helped you at all, gave you a couple ideas or even one, give us a like, give us a subscribe, follow us. All those things really help. So again, try some of these out. If you got some extra ones in the comments and we'll see you guys on that next one. Bye.